everybody. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Anyways, I'm in a 2003 Honda Accord that I just picked up um, to flip the car for $800. Anyways, it's dirty as hell. Dirty, 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 dirty. Anyways, um, the next video I show you will be the vehicle, you know, where it's all, you know, when I get it home, because I'm on my way home. Um, I had to drive uh, up my, drive a little bit over an hour uh, to go get it. Um, put money down on it yesterday, but she didn't have the title right, so I had to get the, you know, come back the next day and get it notarized and everything, because in Ohio you have to get title notarized. Anyways, uh, I looked up, uh, it's got 295,000 miles, four-cylinder automatic, 2003 Honda Accord EX, power windows, power locks, uh, cruise control, it's got an aftermarket Alpine CD player in it, because the stock stereo doesn't work. Anyways, uh, but I looked online and they're selling for anywhere from two to three thousand dollars. Most of them are in the $2,500 to $3,000 range. So there's some money to be made, but uh, it is a little bit rusty around the rockers. Um, it's missing the driver's side skirt. All the hubcaps are missing. Um, the brakes were making noise, but the car's been sitting for a while. So that's one thing you have to check out for. When a vehicle sets for a while, the brakes get rusty. Drive it for a little bit, and usually that goes away. Um, the one, the driver's half shaft is clicking, um, so I'm going to have to switch the half shaft, and the tires are bald. There's a couple of them with wires sticking on them, um, and it needs some hubcaps, maybe some cheap wheels, you know, it needs the headlights buffed, the interior, I'm going to take the interior out, and, uh, you know, a little secret I do is I go ahead and I strip out the carpet and the seats. I go ahead and go to the Dollar Tree and buy a uh, bottle of that awesome. Um, or you could go ahead and go to Walmart or Dollar General, you know, or Myers or whatever your store is close to you. And you get some uh, Purple Power, Simple Green. Well, anyways, it's a degreaser. You spray it on the seats, the carpet. Soak that stuff in there. Let it set for a couple minutes, you know, while you're getting your change, you know, your quarters, you know, at the car wash. And power wash them. It'll come out looking like new, you know, and then you go ahead and you put this stuff up. Um, it takes like two, three days for the interior to dry out. Um, you kind of want to watch out and put a plastic bag over the motors, like for the seats that are electric. But... Other than that, it gets the interior looking like brand new. It pulls out any stinky odors out of it and anything. That is one trick that I learned a long time ago, and it saved me a lot. The next thing is go to Harbor Freight, buy a cheap variable speed buffer, you know, and buy some uh, buffing compound, you know, and wet sand the headlights. I usually start out... If it feels kind of smooth, I'll start out like 1,000 grit, you know, and then 1,200, 1,500, you know, and they bump up to 2,000 and then uh, buff it. Uh, I use that G2 compound. It's $60 for it. It's kind of expensive, but that stuff will make your headlights look like brand new. I will show you what it does. I can sh show you proof of what it does. And the headlights last for a while. But, and then uh, degrease the engine. This is easy stuff that people can do. Um, and you, if you don't know how to work on it, believe me, everybody's got a smartphone. Everybody can look on YouTube and learn on how to work on it. Um, if you're not sure, go buy you some cheap tools. Um, me personally, I'd probably go to AutoZone and spend a little bit of money, you know, and Get something with the lifetime warranty. That way, if it breaks, you take it back and fix it, you know, and replace the tool, and you're ready to go. Um, I bought their Duralast stuff. And I bought Harbor Freight stuff. Some of their stuff, you know, break, you can't take it back. Other stuff on, you know, Dura, 
you know, AutoZone or whatever, whatever your preference is. Everybody's different. And uh, don't bounce around to different cars if you're going to do this, if you're going to buy and sell and flip cars. Um, don't try to screw people. Um, I try to make, you know, a little bit of money, but I'm not out there, to, you know, to get all, all holy hell. I probably sell this car for like two grand. So there's a thousand dollar, twelve hundred dollars, you know, difference, potential profit. But I'm also going to buy the half shaft, maybe brakes. Um, you know, I got to interior clean it, buff the headlights, you know, put tires on it, hubcaps. So I'm going to have a little bit of money into it and time and effort, you know, and you have to pay yourself, you know, what what do you think yourself is worth? You know what I mean? In this job, you know, I know I could, man, I was an electrician for six years, so I could take that time, you know, and go to, uh, you know, go back to be an electrician, you know, and make, you know, $25, $30 an hour, maybe $60 a day per diem. That's where they give you $60 every day. Per diem means they give it to you every day. But I could go do that, you know, and there's enough temp places I could go do that or get hired in a place, you know, get 401k. But I choose to do this so I can make my own hours. So uh, there's benefits and there's not benefits. I've had cars where I've had two grand in them, the engine blows up, you know, it's messed up, and I have to scrap it, you know, for like 300, 350, maybe $400 max, you know. Then, I, you know, I've lost, you know, $1,600. So there's ups and downs. Believe me, people try to glamorize it and say, oh, yeah, you're going to make all kinds of money. You can if you're smart. Learn from your mistakes. Um, I try to learn from my mistakes. Sometimes I do, this, do stupid stuff. And stay with the vehicles, you know, that, that, you know, find, you know, in your city, you know, that you like. And don't be afraid to travel. You know, go check out a vehicle. Um, if you don't have, if you're not mechanically minded, bring a friend with you. You know, maybe watch a YouTube video on the vehicle. You know, check out, see what's the problems, are the issues with that certain vehicle. You know, and try to stay with them. If you like Honda Accords, Honda Civics, stay with the Honda Accords, Honda Civics. Um, you know, I usually deal well with, uh, you know, Cavaliers, G6s. Honda Accords, you know, and sometimes like the Ford Escapes. Um, I like messing with the trucks, but there's no real, there's no real money to be made in the trucks. But you gotta, I got, I gotta have a truck, you know, because some of them are broke down and can't drive, so need a truck and a trailer. I got a tow dolly, and I'm actually gonna buy a trailer. And I bought another truck, which I'll post a video of that. I bought that for dark cheap but it's got issues with it too but uh just let you go and have a good day don't forget to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more episodes of me